it is my pleasure f uh, to be here, uh, Professor, uh, Doctor. And uh, I would like to begin with my uh, first question uh, in yes. regard to the mm -hmm. event that we are uh, attending right now, sir. So um, upon seeing those artists uh, and uh, of course the people who mm -hmm. expertly work in art and uh, in the means that we want to combat climate change mm -hmm. using their skills, sir. So uh, for you, sir, I mean, how do artists and you know people who work in art, I mean, how can they uh, stand at the forefront of uh, combating climate change, sir? Why not only the government or why not only uh, the NGO, sir? This is a very, very good uh, and important question, actually. Um, I think to answer these uh, questions, I have three points. The first one is that the global boiling or the climate crisis right now is not the problem only to the government or to any particular sectors in the whole societies. It's all of us problems. And us, in this sense, doesn't mean only Cambodia or Thailand or Singapore or ASEAN as a whole. We are talking about the global communities. Yes, Hence, everybody should take part in order to fix the crisis right now. That's the first point. The second point is that uh, actually arts is not only for art's sake. Arts is more like a medium, more like a means in order to make people understand the issues easily, right? And the third point is, you know, artists, normally these people, they have a better visual uh, intelligence yes, compared to the layman, right? Uh, like us, right? For the artist, for the designer, for the cultural workers, um, they have a sense of not only beauties, yes, but the sense of visualized things. Like critical thinking, sir. Correct, yes, correct. Yes. Hence, when they see things, when they learn things, they know how to translate it. They know how to transform it into a visual, into a sound, into an art piece. Hence, this art thing, this idea from them, it's a very, very good uh, means, a very, very good medium in order to make us public aware mm -hmm. and think more about the environmental issues. That's why we work with artists and use arts as the medium, as the means in order to make people concerned more about our environmental issues. Yes, sir. So, which means apart from the pragmatic approach, we also need the abstract approach done Correct. by the artist to help Correct. to the environment, Correct. sir. If people keep thinking about, oh, we are going to be the net zero mm -hmm. by 2050, if we are going to reduce our carbon footprints, we are going to go with a you know, new kind of like international trade measures related on environmental issues. Nobody understands it. Yes, right? sir. Yes. Because all this is more very, very techniques. But when you can use the arts as a way in order to make people start to recognize about this thing, feeling about the importance of the issues, giving them a good inspiration as well as the interventions in order to make them at least think about it and at most change their behavior then we are successed on the very, very first step in order to make the awareness of people on this climate crisis issues. Yes, sir. And at the same time, the culture being one of the important pillar for ASEAN, sir, mm -hmm. um, for the past, let's say, five or ten years, I mean, uh, for you being with mm -hmm. the ASEAN Foundation, um, do you think that in ASEAN as a whole, you know, the art community, are they thriving at a, you know, a noticeable pace? Correct. According to your to your observation? Um, they, they are very, very active communities. Yeah. And because of the artists, you know, when, when we come to the arts, they always appreciate the diversities. And ASEAN, it's the best place to understand, to learn, to stay together under the diversities, right? Sure. We have a very, very variety group of people. We have a uh, lot of festival, cultures, events, so many things that are so different. But this different is also have a common ground, have mm -hmm. a shared identities. You can say like same, same, but different, right? Because from the outsider, from the eye of the Westerners, from the eye of the people who is not in Southeast Asia, yes, they may see us 
Khmer people, Thai people, Singaporean people, Filipino people, for all of them, from the look of us, they may think we are the same. Yes, But actually, for us, right, we really, really know that, oh, actually, uh, Khmer people, Laos people, weird people are different from Singapore, from Thai, from Filipinos, right? And we stay together under the ASEAN for more than half a century already. Yes, sir. Hence, this is that. That means we have kind of like diversities, but we also have some kind of share value. Yes, sir. And if we can strengthen this thing, we can turn this share value, share identities into a very, very powerful uh, power in order to change. Yes, sir. Uh, the thing in the better way. Yes, sir. And uh, in terms of, of course, uh, you know, shared identity and diversity, um, upon coming together like this, uh, as uh, the executive mm -hmm. of uh, director of the ASEAN Foundation, mm -hmm. sir, uh, uh, what do you expect, you know, all of them to learn when coming together, you know, maybe for the product of another 10 years, let's say, in the future? Um, of course, when, when we gather the group of each profession, yes, artists, sir youth, universities, to students, business communities. When they mingle, of course, first they are going to see that actually we are, like I said earlier, same, same, but different, right? Yes, sir. And how we are going to be able to benefit mm -hmm. from that diversity. For the community of business people, they may see new trade opportunities, oh, new yeah, investment yeah. opportunities. So they shake their hand, agree on doing something new, maybe uh, open the new companies, invest in some uh, factories, yes, uh, export and import goods to other markets, something like that. For the group of students, of course, they may think bigger, right? Because this will be the, cre the, the network yes, for them uh, for the whole life. More like connections. Uh, Correct. Yeah, they yeah. have a very good connections. Who knows? Some of the students in our in one batch, one day they will become prime ministers of one country in Southeast Asia, right? They may become the millionaire, they may become the people who get Nobel Prize, something like that. Hence, it's better to learn from each other. Yes, sir. Maybe they see the opportunities as well in order to work together, in order to achieve something together in the future. Yes, sir. Artists as well. When it comes to the artist, they not only learn the different techniques, but they also learn the perspectives mm. of each country, of each individual on the same topics. For example, today we are talking about climate change, global boiling, uh, how we are going to preserve the food ecosystems. Hence, every country may have their own pain point, which is different from each other. Yes, sir. Uh, each country may have the approach in order to fix the problems that difference to each other. And of course, sometimes they cannot fix that kind of problem within one country. Yes, sir. We need like multifaceted approach. Correct, yes, correct. Sir. because something shortage in one country may be surplus in other countries. Right? Hence, when they have a chance to mingle, talk more, getting to know each other more, they may be able to come up with the best solutions, best techniques for arts, for ecosystems, for environmental issues. So that's what we hope very much to see. And of course, we did see it, right? Because this is the second time we host this event. Last year, we also did host this event. We come up with so many recommendations, reflect back to each respective governments. Now we are going to dive deeper and open more, uh, you know, opportunities, enlarge the network in order to, of course, do the same thing. Use the arts, use their idea, reflect it back to each communities, each countries. Yes, sir. My very last question, sir, uh, because uh, as I was informed, the first uh, Climate Future Conference was conducted in Jakarta mm -hmm. uh, last year, 2022. But in 2023, uh, it is conducted now, right now, in Siem Reap, sir. Right. Uh, so my question is that, uh, why, why not Phnom Penh, sir, let's say, you know, why not Bangkok or, you know, why not Hanoi? Um, actually, uh, 
the first round last year yes. was in Jakarta, right? Uh, it's the archipelago. Mm -hmm. ASEAN can be separated into two, two main groups. Oh, yes. ASEAN yes. at the sea. Okay. Archipelago ASEAN, Maritime ASEAN, right? Mainland Malaysia, ASEAN, yeah. Singapore, Indonesia, Philippines, Brunei. And mainland ASEAN. Yes, sir. Right? ASEAN in the land. Thailand, Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, right? And then we choose Siem Reap. Of course, because last year, uh, this country is host ASEAN Summit. Mm -hmm. Hence, mm -hmm. they have, uh, you know, ready facilities. Yes, sir. And of course, Siem Reap is more like a, one of the good strategic locations mm -hmm. when we are going to talk about cultures because this is one of the cladders of civilizations, right? When, yes, when we talk about Southeast Asia, we normally see three cladders of civilizations, Bagan in Myanmar, uh, Angkor in Siem Reap, right? Yes, and of course, uh, uh, Jawa yes, in sir. Indonesia. And, and we are more than happy to come back to Siem Reap because this year, not only we host the Connect ASEAN here in Siem Reap, but a couple of months ago, we also host the ASEAN China, mm -hmm. ASEAN Foundations Model ASEAN Meeting. Yes, sir. So it's more like a simulation. We bring uh, youth from 10 ASEAN countries plus China to learn about ASEAN meeting mechanism. Yes, sir. And we, we, we host it in this very, very, very uh, building, sir. original Hotel, place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of uh, because it's very, very convenient. Yes, sir. Uh, and of course, uh, we see a lot of developments in Cambodia for the past couple of years as well. Uh, today we celebrate the new airport, right? Yes, sir. Which is very, very large, modernized. Uh, we see a lot of good hospitalities from Khmer people in Siem Reap. Yes, sir. We see a lot of vibrant art community here, cradles of civilizations from Angkor, uh, and it's it's. You know, from this, all of these reasons, yeah, yeah. why not see <laughs> it? <laughs> yes, sir. So, uh, thank you, uh, doctor, for your informative answer, sir. I hope you have a very pleasant stay, sir, in Simbre province. Sir. Of course, of course. Yes, this is one of my favorite <laughs> thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Yes.